here with Clarion head volleyball coach Jennifer Mills getting ready for the 2012 season. Clarion coming off of another NCAA tournament bid, their eighth in the last 10 years last year. Finished 19 and 13 overall, 14 and 5 in the always tough PSAC West, made it to the PSAC semifinals for the third consecutive year. Uh, this year, Jen, you're looking at, at a lot of roster turnover. You had a lot of seniors, uh, five seniors, and you've lost six players from last year. Um, how would you describe this year? Do you look at it as rebuilding, reloading, something else? Um, different is what I would definitely describe it as. I think that we're very young right now, um, somewhat inexperienced in different um, positions, but we still have some experience uh, back specifically um, with Rebecca Batesball, who, um, when she's back healthy, uh, I think will definitely help. Rebecca Webb, Rebecca Ferragonio, who we actually have moved around to find a position that actually I think fits her a little bit better. Um, you know, Hannah Heater is another one who's had a lot of experience on the court, um, and we're looking her at her to fulfill a little bit more responsibility this year. So, you seem to be fairly strong um, up front in the middle with uh, with Rebecca right. Webb, with uh, Karen Manley. Yeah. Um, then Hannah going to be on the outside for you this year? Um, we're right now we're using her on the right, um, the right side, and she's uh, we're thinking that she's probably going to play six rotations for us. And um, from our first scrimmage and from what we've seen in practice, we're we're starting to really like it. Um, granted, she's going to continue to have to push and win in that position, um, especially with Rebecca Bates all coming back in. Um, but right now, at this point, based on personnel, um, that's where she's at. Uh, you lose uh, some really key players. Um, obviously, Kelly Bartman, who right. was Player of the Year a couple years ago, right. um, Ree Brady, the only four-time All-Region player in school history, yeah. and uh, Amanda Goff, who was a four-year starter, et cetera, for you. Right. Uh, do you have people in mind to, to fill those places yet? Is there still battles going on? What's the? Um, there's battles going on all year. Um, so, and there's been battles through um, all of preseason, which has only been a week so far. Um, we have a lot of young kids in those positions, and um, one of the, I guess it would be, I, I would say different, um, just the dynamic is so different, um, but I feel that we have um, athletes that are fully capable of fulfilling those roles, um, but maybe in just a, a few different ways as we um, gain that experience. Uh, do the goals change, or do they stay the same? Our goal is has nothing to do with winning, losing. Um, certain championships. Our goal right now is just to focus on the process and that's the one thing that we've talked about in our gym um, is that we're a process oriented team right now and we're just looking at getting better every day and I feel like the other stuff falls in place um, as we continue to improve. Thanks Jen. You start your season in uh, two weeks out at Ferris State, Michigan. You have a home tournament here the following weekend, the Tony Banner Invitational. Right. Touch on the Tony Banner Invitational a little bit. Tony was a, a, a longtime supporter of Clarion Athletics, uh, passed away last fall. Right. Why did you guys decide to have a tournament to honor him? I think to honor him and his family, to be honest, um, for everything that they've done to represent Clarion Athletics the way they have. Um, and I think, honestly, if we can... Um, conduct ourselves the way he conducted himself um, and support the program and the university the way that he did. Um, I think that we're doing a good thing. Um, so putting his name and attaching his name onto our tournament I think is a really good thing. And his family was kind enough to, to start a fund um, to raise scholarship dollars for um, our volleyball program and I can't thank them enough for that. Thank you, Jenna. Good luck this season. Thank you.